Now, does this look like a racetrack to you? Does this look like a car? Well, last weekend, six teams took to the track in Toulouse in France for the world's first nano car race. The nano cars are specially designed molecules which are invisible to the human eye. Nano things are very, very small. One nanometer is 30,000 times thinner than a human hair. In ideal cases, we try to build the molecules which have the shape of a car. That is some kind of a chassis and four wheels and ideally a motor. Uh, but in some cases, uh, it turns out that uh, much simpler molecule uh, work uh, as well. Six teams competed, representing France, Switzerland, Japan, Germany, the USA, and there was a joint US and Austrian team. The tiny racetrack for most teams was made of gold. Now, this is because gold is so soft, its surface can be made extremely flat, as in there's not even an atom out of place. And that does take some time to prepare. Since we bring different type of molecule on the surface, on the same surface, they are first to clean their surface to be sure that they have a good track, that is, to have the good organization of the atom and to free the track from the molecules they don't want. And this will take one or two days. Once the nano cars were in position on the track, the teams used the tip of a scanning tunneling microscope to propel the vehicles with tiny electric charges. They had 30 hours to race 100 nanometers and back. Six teams started with no guarantee that they would all finish, but there is historical precedent here. In 1894, there was the first ever car race in the world. Of course, microscopic car, big cars, it was the first event. You have 100 and so uh, molecule, uh, molecule, sorry, <laughs> cars <laughs> register at that time, and only 21 succeed to start, and only 17 arrive at the end. Mm -hmm. So we are in the same situation, but of course we have less starting cars. In the end, it took one team only 90 minutes to finish the race, but they did use a different track. If we had used the gold, it was going to be uncontrollably fast. So we used a silver surface, which is actually a slower surface, so we slowed it down so that we could control it better around the pylon. Uh, we never revealed the structure of our car until race day. There was no requirement to reveal the structure of the car because we'd worked so hard to come up with these design features. We didn't feel that we, we wanted to reveal that to the world until race day. And looking at their cars, uh, we knew that they were going to be a little bit slower because number one, they were very big. Uh, the higher the molecular weight, the harder it is to move it. Number two, they had aromatic wheels. We knew that that was going to but that was going to slow them down. Even though it was originally deemed as a 36-hour race and then 30-hour race, uh, we knew that we were going to be able to finish much faster than that. The second team to finish raced on the standard gold course and took over seven hours. The organisers decided to declare both the Swiss team and the US-Austrian team joint winners as they raced in different circumstances. The tech used in the race will help improve the imaging capabilities of the world's most powerful microscopes, and the car design process has pharmaceutical applications for making designer molecules. As it was in the world's first nano race, every team will have plenty of thinking to take back to their tiny drawing boards.